Welcome to another edition of Inside Medicine. I'm your host, Doug Geinzer, and we are here in the studio today with Garrett Leaf, the president and CEO of Silver Summit Health Plan. For those of you that are new to Inside Medicine, we broadcast right here in the studio every Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And today we are broadcasting live on Facebook as well, which is new to us. So uh, catch us live on Facebook, catch us live on VegasVideoNetwork.com slash live. If you have questions, along the way. Go ahead and text those questions questions in, and we will try to get to those. Uh, Inside Medicine brings the leaders of healthcare in Southern Nevada to the studio to give a live view to everybody that is here. Um, right here in the studio, we've got uh, today, we have Garrett Leaf. Garrett, welcome to the studio, and happy Thursday. Well, Doug, thanks very much. Uh, really excited to be here. Appreciate the invite. Yeah, so before we jump in, we want to get to know Garrett Leaf a little bit. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Wow. Um, Getting a little older than I'd like to. I've uh, been in the healthcare industry in California primarily for the last 27 years. Uh, moved out here to Nevada in May of this year to start Silver Summit Health Plan. Welcome to Las Vegas. Uh, I love it here. It's great. Uh, everybody says I survived a summer. It wasn't that bad. Yep. It's, uh, they say it's the 18-month hump. Once you get through 18 months, it's smooth sailing. So welcome to Vegas, and we're glad to have you here. Love to be here. So tell us, you didn't start out in the healthcare industry. You started out in property and casualty? I did. Uh, young guy, young gun coming out of college. I graduated from mm-hmm. Chico State, California. There you go. You may have heard of that school. Um, started with a company called Crum and Forster, internal mm-hmm. audit. What a great job for a young guy coming out of college. Traveled the, the country every mm-hmm. two weeks. We'd go to a new location, cut my teeth. Uh, really had a great time and, and learned a tremendous amount about I think the concept of insurance in general, it's a very unique business. Yeah. So you started out on the finance side. I did. Jumped in now on the operations and kind of providing that higher level leadership. I imagine that background brings a lot to the table for you. Yeah. I'm a finance guy by trade. I spent most of my early years in the healthcare industry on the finance end of the business. Um, if you understand the numbers and you understand what's behind them, I think you have a good understanding of the business and, and it translates really well into operations and and hopefully into vision and strategy as well. Yeah, and I understand you are a Golden Knights fan. So tell us about that. Yes, I'm an avid hockey fan in general. And uh, so, so excited to have the Vegas Golden Knights here. We are a proud partner of the Vegas Golden Knights as well at Silver Summit. And we're looking forward to a wonderful partnership and a wonderful season this year. So what does a partnership entail? What does that look like? Well, I think there are a lot of synergies between the two organizations. And, and you know, not only does it help get our brand and awareness out there in the marketplace, but it really gives us an opportunity to make a difference in the community. Yeah. Both of us are very community focused. And I think together that partnership's going to be tremendously powerful here. Yeah. And Silver Summit has just, you're new to the market, but you guys are coming in with a big bang. It's You're doing it right. You're really engaging the community, you're doing amazing outreach. Tell us a little bit about Silver Summit and the health plan and how did you enter the Las Vegas marketplace? Yeah, absolutely. So Silver Summit is one of the many plans in the Centene family of health plans. Centene is in uh, roughly 30 states right now across the country. Very large uh, very you know, strong in the Medicaid sector. We're the largest Medicaid carrier in the country. We're the largest health insurance marketplace carrier in the country. So tremendous amount of experience um, and influence behind us. Uh, Centene looked at the Nevada market. Uh, we've been here looking in this market for a number of years, actually. Um, the opportunity came up this year to add new new entries into the Medicaid, managed Medicaid marketplace, and uh, we, we jumped at the opportunity. Yeah, and so I guess there was an RFP that put out. You were one of the winners of the RFP, and it sounds like the, uh, a pretty big thing happened recently. If you could tell us a little bit about what happened with the governor's office to provide insurance to the Bear Country or County. So well, tell us a little sure. bit about that. Sure. So so currently, we operate in Clark and Washoe counties on the managed Medicaid side. You're referring to our participation on the health insurance marketplace here yes, in Nevada. Yes, um, We will be participating in the marketplace effective on January 1st. Mm-hmm. And um, at one point, the state of Nevada had 14 counties in which there were no options for anybody, the Bear counties, the rural counties. Um, of the 16 counties nationwide at one point, 14 were here in Nevada. Wow. So Centene, as we have done in a number of other markets, you know, here in Nevada, Silver Summit felt like the right thing to do was to go out there and, and provide an option for those folks who would otherwise have no options for health care in those 14 rural counties. 
I met with uh, Mike Wilden from the governor's office. We talked about, you know, the possibilities for us to uh, go ahead and enter that market. And um, through a number of conversations uh, with the governor's office and and obviously our our corporate uh, teams, we were able to come to an agreement and offer uh, coverage in all 14, all 17 counties actually in the state here. Within some of the inner circles, everybody says you guys saved the day. Well, you know, we didn't do it to save the day. We did it because it was the right thing to do. That's great. And and thank you because you come you're coming into the marketplace. You started with one product. Now you're delivering service to the entire state. That's awesome. That's awesome. Tell us a little bit about what makes the product, you know, Silver Summit a little bit different than some of the others out there. Sure. So Silver Summit and Centene in general take an, a a local approach to healthcare. We believe that healthcare is best delivered locally. So therefore our plans are all locally branded, locally managed, locally staffed. And the decision making is is done here locally. So ultimately, I have accountability and responsibility for what occurs here uh, in Nevada with Silver Summit. Uh, that being said, you know, we also believe in treating the whole person. So we, we like to integrate both the medical and the, uh, the, the physical and the mental side of healthcare sure. because the two really go hand in hand and we believe in treating the whole person. I think we're seeing that more and more often now. Absolutely. And so tell us a little bit about the behavioral health services that you offer and how do those complement the health services? Well, clearly anytime somebody, you know, presents in a doctor's office or in the emergency room, oftentimes they'll present with a a medical or physical malady. When in, 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 in very often, What's really driving that could be something with the mental side of, of what's going on with that individual. And so it's important that we have both sets of resources. And when, when an enrollee um, interacts with us at Silver Summit, they're going to get a single point of contact for both mental and physical well-being. Yeah, yeah. So, and you really do an effective job treating the children side of the house. Can you spend a little bit of time on that? A lot of people don't realize the importance of that and what that means to an overall state, what that means to the plan. And you all focus on that at a higher level than most. Sure. Uh, obviously, our children are our future and, and getting children started off on the right foot early is critically important to establishing those healthy and, and good lifestyle choices as they continue to grow and uh, become contributors here in, in, our, in our communities. So we have a number of programs that are really designed to make sure that our children are getting the preventive care they need. We're getting the preventive screenings they need. And it all boils around to making sure that that health care being delivered is, is of the highest quality so that we can really start those children on the right path at an early age. Yeah. And Silver Summit does more of a personal touch, a more personal approach to its members. Tell us about some of those unique things that you do, member services that other plans may not do. Well, again, we're local, as I mentioned. So when you call Silver Summit, you're getting somebody right here in the community. But again, when you talk about blending the whole person approach here, you know, we don't look at you as a number. We don't look at you as a visit. We look at you as an individual and how we might help. Um, we offer a number of value-added benefits for our enrollees. We're really proud of our Start Smart for Your Baby program. Again, one of the things designed to make sure that we start children off from literally it's critical. the day of birth. Um, but it's really to help expecting parents and, and new parents uh, ensure that they're providing the best level of care, not only for themselves, but also for their children. Um, we provide second nebulizer, nebulizer for children at school. Very important. You know, kids with asthma have to travel back and forth. It's, it's comforting to know they don't have to worry about where it is. There's one, an extra one for them at school. Something happened just the other day, too, where I think it really drives home this unique personal touch. Doug. We have an individual with us who encountered an enrollee, newly relocated to the Vegas market, was having some trouble integrating into the market, didn't, didn't uh, really have a job, was having trouble finding work, didn't know where to go for resources. He helped this individual get in contact with a provider, get the right care she needed, but went even another step beyond, helped her develop a resume. Wow. Got her in touch with the right resources to help her get a job, and she is now employed in the community and, and feeling so much better, not only about herself, but where she is That's in, in her big. Life. Because healthcare so many times is a barrier, an obstacle to finding employment. Because right. which do you take care of first? We need a job. 
but at the same time, we need to be able to take care of our health and well-being. Absolutely. And we need to have the time off to take care of ourselves. It's amazing that you're going to that level. Tell us a little bit more about how you're doing community outreach. You talked a little bit about the the Golden Knights. What are some of the other areas? We we see Silver Summit all over, everywhere I go. You're there, you're front, you're present, you're investing in the community. Tell us a little bit more about some of those, the other programs that you're doing. You bet. And and if you're going to interact with with your, your enrollees and, and your potential enrollees, you have to be where they are. So we've attended over 60 community events already this year. Um, and we have another big one coming up a week from this Saturday on the 18th. We're doing a food drive with the Vegas Golden Knights at oh, City nice. National Arena. Um, encourage folks to come on out and see the team practice there, contribute on the food drive there. Um, one that really strikes strikes a chord with me uh, early this year, we have a partnership with the Pro Football Hall of Fame. They sent out three Hall of Fame football players, Dell Green, Aeneas Williams, and Anthony Munoz, and we presented to over 200 youth in in the Vegas market and it was a just a wonderful experience to watch these kids some of them come from very difficult you know upbringings and and situations to see that it is possible to make it out, out of these situations and that you have help there are resources available and that folks really care about you it's amazing because you're not just a health plan right you are really taking care of the community that's that's our intent and that's really when i say we're, we're local that that's really what that means so talk to us you told us a little bit about you brand in each market a little bit different here your silver summit some of the other marketplaces you brand to that community you have a program that's different in each community right. when you came into nevada what did that look like and how did you shape that compared to some of the other communities that you entered well sure i think you have to look at the needs of that community Nevada is a very unique community in that there's a very large concentration of population in really two, yeah. two areas. So um, you have to look at the needs of that population. Nevada presents some interesting challenges. Uh, you know, the, the mental health issues here, I think, are are very challenging as well as opioid. Yeah. Opioid abuse is is a tremendous challenge here in Nevada. It is everywhere in the country, but uh, I see it. I see it here as as a real challenge for us. And in fact, one of the reasons why we have somebody participating on the governor's uh, task force for opioid abuse, it's critical that we find ways to help help our, our communities get yeah. through some of these things. And as you, you stated, we're different. You know, 70% of the population lives down here in Clark, another 20% in Washoe. And then the other 10% live in what we call the cow counties. You, some call it the bear counties. We call it the cow counties. It's uh, right. But they live out there, and you're treating the entire state, which is awesome. It's very much needed. Absolutely. And and Care in those counties obviously presents a very different challenge. You're just the provider community doesn't exist in some of those bare counties. And so that yeah. presents another set of challenges that you have to adapt to and make sure that you can continue to deliver that high quality care for those. Talk folks. to us a little bit about the provider base. You know, Las Vegas Heels at its core is the largest professional association of providers in the state. How can our members work closer? with Silver Summit. How can we help you with your outreach? Obviously, you're in this state. You're doing such great work. Our providers want to figure out how to work and align with you. How do they go about doing that? Yeah, it's a very difficult situation for providers having to deal with multiple plans on multiple you know, benefit structures and things like that. Our intent and our goal is to be indispensable to the provider. That's, that's the vision I've given to our network teams is we want to be indispensable. What does that mean? To me, that means that a provider should be incented to do the right thing all the time. Absolutely. They should never have to worry about, if I do it this way, then I get paid that way. If I do it this way, then it results in that. We want providers to be incented to do the right thing all the time, and we want it to be easy for them to do business with us. And so those are the things we're trying to do. We're putting in quality incentive programs that are designed so that they don't have to worry about what should I do? They should do what they know to do, and it should in, in turn result in a positive outcome for them, as well as a positive outcome for the enrollee, a good customer experience. So you're tying some of your reimbursements to quality outcomes then? Absolutely. That's huge for Absolutely. the provider community, because everybody wants to do the right thing. And nowadays, we can measure quality a little bit different than we could before in the past. Right. The challenge here is, you know, quality health plan, quality programs are evident throughout the country. All too often, I've seen these programs where we put them in place, the providers do what they do, and then the plan comes back and after that, sorry, you didn't, you didn't make it. Yeah. There's going to be no bonus. That it should never happen. So when we, we develop these programs, we're going to send our quality teams out. We're going to help educate our providers on how to be successful with us. Oftentimes, what I have found in my experience is that 
they're not, it's not that they're not doing what's necessary. They may not fill the paperwork out correctly. Uh, so yep. our folks are going to come out and show them how to be successful under our programs before we even implement them. That's big. That provider right. education's huge. And then we're going to continually show up in their offices on a quarterly basis and show them how they're doing and provide opportunities to improve. That's great. Including providing resources if that will, will, will do the trick. Yep. I'm sure the providers are opening uh, their arms up to that because it's been challenging in this market. And it's tough to enter a new market and, and providers are skeptical and I understand that. Yeah. So we, we definitely want to change change their perspective. A little change in subject. You've got a big date that just passed, November 1st. Something started. Tell us a little bit about open enrollment and what that means right. to Silver Summit. What does that look like? How long does that take? How, how important is that? This is huge. Obviously, open enrollment for the Health Insurance Exchange being a new player in the market, being the only player in 14 counties. Some new things this year. It's a condensed open enrollment period. So it runs from November 1st to December 15th. Very short. So anybody who's interested should not wait. They should go out there. They can go to our website. They can reach out to local brokers. There are other resources for them in the market to ensure that they can look at the available options and make the right choice for them. We're hoping to make a huge splash here in the market and, and really um, – change how healthcare is delivered here. And I don't know the answer to this, so it may sound like a dumb question. Can the providers play a role in helping out with the open enrollment process? Well, surely. I think providers are trusted confidants to many folks in the community. And, um, you know, providers should have the information available to know what's best for that enrollee. So I think there's a, a conversation that can, can occur between a primary care provider, let's say, and an enrollee, and, and that provider can help guide that and really to the best option for them. Yeah, makes sense. So I want to switch subjects again. So you're becoming a major plan in the state, but you're also becoming a major employer in the state. Your workforce started out small. It's growing rapidly. Tell us a little bit about your workforce. What does that look like today? What may that look like down the road? Sure. We just hit 75 employees this Congrats. week. That's so big. we're continuing to hire. We're hiring all the time. As you said, we're growing very rapidly. I would expect we'll be over 100 employees by the end of this year, and that, that growth pattern will continue into next year as we see our uh, health insurance exchange and our Medicaid markets both continue to grow in 2018. We're constantly looking for local talent. We love to hire from the local markets, again, going back to that local approach. And of course, clinical, clinical resources are very difficult no matter where you are in the country right now. Um, so we're always looking for good qualified clinical Clinical resources. Your employees, well. are they primarily clinical? Or are they administrative? A little bit of a blend of both? Yeah, it's about 50 50. Obviously, we employ a, a large number of nurses and physicians, mm -hmm. nurse practitioners, licensed social workers, but we obviously complement that with, a, with an array of, of administrative uh, mm -hmm. types of resources as well. What are some of the painful areas to recruit for? Obviously, we reach the provider base, so this may be a good way for you to get a recruitment message out there. Who are the, what are the types of people that you're looking for, and uh, what you know how how would they go about finding you as well? Nurses, nurses, and nurses. Uh, yeah. it's very difficult, and you know, again, it's not unique to the Nevada or Las Vegas market, mm -hmm. but it's it's a it's a challenge. I think there's just a general nurse shortage out there in the country today. Yeah. Um, anybody interested can go to uh, the centine.com website and look under careers there. They can always call into our health plan as well, and we'll, we'll be happy to help them uh, with any available um, positions that we may have here in, in Nevada. Yeah, and those nurses, are they case management types? What type of skill set does uh, nurses come in all different flavors? You bet. Uh, you bet. So it, there's a big difference between you know an OR nurse compared to an ER nurse to a med surge nurse to a case management type nurse. So give us a little bit more of what you're looking for there. Sure. Our positions generally fit into primarily one of two categories. So what we call utilization management. Those are the folks who are really trying to coordinate the care up front, make sure that folks have access to the right resources. They get the right care at the right place, at the right level, at the right time. We then have the case managers. Once somebody is engaged and enrolled and, and actively seeking care, our case managers are really there to ensure that they continue to really drive down healthy lifestyles, healthy decisions, and improve their overall health care. Sure. 
actually focusing on the wellness side of the house. Absolutely. Isn't that the big focus? Get them over, get them well, so we aren't treating them at a higher level of acuity? Make uh, Right level, right time. Yep. <laughs> That's right. So your workforce are most working down in southern Nevada, northern Nevada, a little bit of each. What does that look like from a regional split? Yeah, and we, we do have offices in Reno. We've got a smaller population in Reno working for us up there. The vast majority of our employees are here, right here in Las Vegas. Okay. Uh, about 90% here in Las Vegas. So we've covered a lot of ground in a short period of time. There's something that we probably did not cover that you'd like to cover. Is there something more that you'd like to make sure that we hit on before we wrap up the show? Well, you know, I, I think it's it's critical that we have conversations continually. So I think this is a great venue. We encourage our providers to have the same conversation with us. What I don't want to do is find out eight months down the road that we're not doing something we said we were going to do or we're not doing something correctly. So I encourage our provider partners to reach out to us. Reach out to me. If you're having an issue, call me. We'll get it resolved. We may not be doing everything perfectly right now. We are committed to making sure that we get it done. So don't wait. If if things aren't going the way you think they should, reach out and call us. So if a provider wanted to reach out, do they go through the Centene website? Do you have a local office number that they should be calling? How do they go about doing that? Yeah, that we have all the numbers are on our website. Perfect. And if they call into our local cost, uh, call center and they, they really have a question that's not related to, you know, the general provider health plan relationship, mm-hmm. we'll make sure they get to the right to the right location and the right person. Fantastic. And at the same time, for the the viewers that are out there, if you have questions that come up at a later date, feel free to email those in. You could send those to editor at lasvegasheels.org, and we will be sure to forward those over to the good folks at Centene Silver Summit uh, and get answers for you. So welcome, or thank you for joining us for the show, and we appreciate you coming on the show. This was a wealth of information. I think we all learned quite a bit about Silver Summit. We learned a little bit about you, and uh, greatly appreciate you being on the show, and thank you for everything that you're doing for the state of Nevada, uh, and welcome again. Well, again, thank you very much for the invite. I really enjoyed it. Fantastic. And y'all enjoy the weekend, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Inside Medicine.